Hey everybody, Phil here. Thanks for tuning in to my Giant Killer Robot project video number four, or as I like to call it, uh, Robot Rant number four. The weather here in Alberta has been uh, awesome. Today's no exception. A little bit windy for doing videos, so, uh, and today it's starting to pick up right now actually, so I haven't been able to do a video. It's just been way too windy. Would have sounded like some wind robot. So, anyway, I've been uh, pretty busy. Things have been going really good. Uh, let's go have a look at the robot. Okay, so after I knock this video off today, I'm going to be uh, working on the fingers for the left hand. So, got the head done. More or less finished off the right arm. Made a few changes. The uh, Right arm's going to have an energy weapon system on it there. It's uh, more uh, weather friendly because uh, it's, uh, it's an outside uh, statue anyway. So, Got the abs on. Should be able to stick a speaker on that flat section there under the front. Just threw some uh, primer here and there on it because it was uh, getting a tad rusty. And the shiny bits just didn't do it any justice there. I wanted to even out the uh, tones of the whole thing so it looked better. So that arm's all pretty much welded up solid. It's uh, posed just the way it's going to be. And the left arm, since I haven't really heard from anybody, I uh, put it on eBay yesterday. Uh, I'm just going to start working on the hand and pretty much pose it just like it is. It's so bloody big now, you got to be back a ways to get the whole thing in. The eyes are lit right now, you just can't really see it that well because uh, it's too bright. Lights up good though. So at the moment I just have the uh, wires for the light coming out the back of the head. They're going to uh, eventually come down inside the neck so you won't see any of that. So yeah, the left arm is going to be pretty much uh, like the right. This is the fun part, finishing it off. If you do something, it's like, yeah, it looks cool, instead of just putting on major components. So the head, uh, I want it to be different from pretty much everything else. The inspiration for the, the shape in that is, uh, I didn't really want a head so much as more of a... a a helmety type thing. It doesn't need a face by any means. It doesn't need a mouth or a nose or anything like that. It kind of needs eyes so it can eyeball people. But uh... yeah, so uh, it's basically a medieval type mask that's normally pretty much looking straight at you. But I canted it back for like uh, deflective purposes for like uh, it's a sort of a military robot so it should uh, deflect as much rounds as possible so yeah I'm working on the uh, left hand right after I'm done this uh, video I'm gonna get her loaded up and then, uh, get out here and uh, knock that hand off so, yeah finally coming together boy been a long one. So yeah, like I said, I put it on eBay there last night, so uh, got to unload this bad boy. I think the next time, uh, as soon as this sucker's sold, I'm going to try and, uh, well, I'll be making more, but I mean, uh, I'm going to make two or three at a time. 
next time just uh, if you're making parts you may as well make parts for several getting a couple of them together boy that'd be pretty cool looking so that's coming but anyway here's the big fella GKR001 Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Thanks for all your comments and support. Uh, you got to build one of these. People are going to think you're kind of, kind of weird, but uh, it's looking pretty good now. So I get more believers uh, now than I did anyway. So let me know what you think. Uh, I think I'm going to still go with the paint scheme with the the black and dark uh, flat gray in the end, and then maybe some of this primer here and there too. But uh, just about done. Whew been a long haul. Anyway, I uh, hope you like it. Uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for tuning in.